Good morning, everybody. I just wanted to take you for a little stroll through a garden that I worked on this weekend. Um, it needed a little bit of love and I needed some color. And I came across some beautiful annuals and I'll introduce you to those now. These are the sun patients and I decided to go ahead and put them in a small little pot running across the front of the gardens because I don't have good soil in here. It's mostly rock. Um, I have a few things that I've taken, but these guys I decided I would make into an annual planter. I can change them out seasonally or if I just want to take it out, I could take it out in the winter. But right now, I feel like it's a good controlled environment for these guys and just really adds a lot of life and vibrancy to the gardens and I really love it how it came out. So these are my large planters I have. This is a bougainvillea that is in full growth mode right now with no blooms but soon enough it'll have some blooms. It kind of goes through cycles like this but right now I just think it's really beautiful the way it drapes. No problem with that. Totally okay with it. And these are some planters I got in an estate sale. And I got them for a steal of a deal. Um, they had some silk flowers in them and they were in the interior of a very beautiful home. And I bought them and I didn't want the silk flowers. I wanted the pots but there was a lady there that wanted the silk flowers. So we made a deal and we bought them and she got silk flowers and I got the pots. So those have been around for a little while. I probably paid $50 each for those. And you know, as well as I do, how much these guys would pre probably be a couple hundred dollars new. So that's, I just love these and I love the color. I think it's really pretty. We've had them at two of the houses that we've owned and they've always been kind of the center stage of things that we've done. So these are the coleus that I bought a couple of weeks ago as a test to see how they would do and they are fabulous. I love the scalloped edges of them and I really wish I could find more. There was only one at the garden center. Um, but this is one I found. It's doing really good. I'm really surprised because, that, like I said, the soil in this garden is not the best. And there's some little coral sedums in there growing. Those came back from last year. You can see those. This plant here is a uh, blackfoot daisy. And she'll put out some blooms later on too. Everything kind of bloomed up and then just kind of went dormant with the heat. And these are some pots that I put together the other day. Um, found some really good prices on these beautiful cactuses. So I bought several and uh, just kind of designed some pots with them. And I love the way that came out. Here's the other one over here. And I wanted them someplace where I could enjoy them. So I put it in a very prominent spot. I tilted this one up a little bit just to add a little bit of whimsy. And then this one here, I just thought was really cool on its own. It almost looks like a, a century plant, like a little miniature, but it's not. And I wish I could show you the little frogs. Before I got my camera out, there were frogs everywhere. So this is our little frog hut. to disturb them. They may or may not be in there, but they were hopping all over the gardens this morning. I think they all went in getting away from the predators now. There's a fountain. This is some Artemisia in here that was just some pieces that I had. I stuck them in there to see how they would do. I don't know why I decided to try to make this a test garden of sorts. Maybe because it's close and I can stick things in there real quick. But this weekend I worked a little harder on it to try to make it look a little bit more of like an entrance garden. And it's just so pretty. This 
this is a plumbago, but she hasn't done great. This is sort of how my plants do when I put it in the soil. There's just not enough soil for things to root, so it kind of stunts them. And the coral sedum, I added a little bit more. I had a pot of this that broke. So I went ahead and took it out and I stuck it in here to see how it would do. And then this little area here, the little vignette, I'm not really sure what's going on in here, but it kind of is a little cute little vignette, just playing around and being silly. More sedums are popping up. Those are all from last year. These are really fun, so cute. Those seem to do really well because they have a really shallow root, so they're not worried about the soil and how deep the soil is, so that works out really well. So any of the sedums that I have do well. This is a Tixid Nandina. This is a native. It did have little yellow flowers on it, but like I said, everything's kind of dormant right now with the heat. entrance. I have another fountain. This is the fountain that I did and I did a, a video on. It's working out really well. It really works out great for when we go on walks with the dogs. I keep it clean and they use it as a water bowl when I get home. So it's kind of a multi-purpose. And then these are just some of my little tropicals that I have around. house. These are Senna's. I have two left of these guys. I had four. Some of them survived. I have some sago palms that are popping up from my previous owner planted some sagos. And because I have dogs, I don't really want to have those. Plus, they weren't really like the best looking things in the world. They just kind of randomly grew and not like your traditional sago palm the way it grows and it looks like a palm these were just kind of like random leaves so i went ahead i just cut them out every once in a while if i can pull them out i will so i need to find something interesting to put in here and i just haven't come across it so i kind of leave it just simple until now until i find something that i like and then these guys always come up these are all perennials this is just a little fern I stuck in there for the meantime. I usually have a beautiful bougainvillea, but all my bougainvilleas are just sort of dormant right now, going through their next phase, and then they'll flower up again. More Artemisia because it does so well here. And I have this Ajuga. This was all just to see how it would do in the soil, and it's flourishing. So needless to say, I'll probably do more of that and just use it as more of a ground cover to cover up some of this ugly dirt. Ideally, I could have all this dug out and put new soil in, but I haven't done that because I can't imagine the amount of labor. I'm not doing it, so I would have to pay somebody to take all this out. There's levels and levels of different rocks. It looks like someone at some point put lava rock and then river rock and then mulch on top. So it's it's a, a little bit of a mess. I've been kind of building up the soil on top of the rock and pulling out some of the rock here and there and putting it in the gardens where I actually want it. Working on this little spot, although I want all my grass gone, 
this one little area, I'm letting it kind of flow through from my neighbor's yard. Um, but this little bare spot, I'm still working on. It's starting to spread. This is St. Augustine. And it does pretty well up here because there's a lot of shade. So I'm willing to go ahead and let that grow in because I don't have to water it. It's in the shade enough that I feel like it'll be okay. So we've been adding some soil in here to help the grass catch. And then like I said, it would marry into my neighbor's yard and sort of spill into ours. So it's not like a divided line. I don't like that look. I just like things to kind of flow into each other and then have some shared landscape. And then on this side, I have more of the, I have lantana, I have two bougainvillea in pots that I propagated. And I have the mealy blue sages. So we have a little bloom on the lantana. Right now, it's just kind of, it's been that hot here. Alright, and then I'm going to take you up to the Butterfly Gardens. I'm up very early this morning, and it's just so pretty. It's beautiful. The gardens take on a whole different personality in the mornings. So all of my plants are growing towards the sun naturally right but it's it's been interesting to watch everything sort of pointing that way <laughs> i can't change that so here's the little butterfly garden it's really pretty we get lots of birds and even the vultures come and eat and or not eat but drink this water and you know it's you don't realize how big they are until they land in your yard. Those vultures are huge. But all of them are welcome here. And some Greg's Mist Flower, more Artemisia, more Mealy Blue Sage. Um, we have some milkweed, tropical milkweed. Black Eyed Susans. more lantana and whatever I can plug in this really should be more of the test garden and some fennel right there which is really pretty it's a really soft look and they say the butterflies like it so anything that I think is beneficial to the butterflies and pollinators goes in here with them in mind and here's our, you know, there was another video where I put all this mulch in and took away, away all my grass. And I'm not upset about this. It's really nice. I'm enjoying this so much. I wasn't sure how those pink flowers were going to look with that reddish colored um, planters, but I'm really liking it. I think it looks really nice. Here's a beautiful succulent pot. Pretty much zero maintenance. I just don't even fuss with it. Of course, lately we've been getting enough rain, so I can say that. But yeah, this one's just gorgeous and I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I got this pot at Lowe's. And I really wish I would have got one and one, but they were pretty expensive. Our little barrel cactus colony. Today I think I'm gonna go find some some flowers for these two planters because I had some petunias in there and they died back and I really missed that little pop of color in there. So I think I'm gonna go grab something that'll thrive in there. our heart garden with the ajuga and I'm gonna say that this light colored variety of the ajuga took a little while to to really get its roots in there because we were babying it and I was really considering taking it out 
but since I kind of threatened it with its life, it uh, decided it was going to start taking. So we're going to see how that does, and I'm going to leave it. This ajuga here by the dog bowl, this chocolate chip ajuga, I put in and it just never stopped. So I really kind of wish I would have done that here, but since it's starting to take, I'm going to give it a chance. And last week I went ahead this wind chime which was really pretty it was all just black and kind of faded and I ran into a red can of spray paint and I spray painted it and I'm liking it it's it gave it a new little breath of fresh air I like it, it looks really pretty and it's got a really pretty sound it's kind of gentle I think the paint might have changed the sound a little. That's funny. And then these are some rock roses. Um, these, a lot of these propagated themselves. And I have a few growing around the yard. They go to seed, and then I just pop the seeds out. And I just spread them around, and whatever takes, takes. But they put off a little really really sweet little flower here this looks like a miniature hibiscus so these are the front gardens i just wanted to do a little quick walk about These are our red yucca. I always forget to tell people about these because we have so many of them, I just kind of take them for granted, but they are really pretty and the hummingbirds really love them. They like to stick their little beaks in those little flowers and they are very pretty. I don't know why, I just sort of forget about them. Don't give them their due justice. So let's see, let's get that in focus for y'all super pretty and then when those canes die off just cut them off they're pretty consistent and then there's the front view again I cleaned up these pavers in the front with that a chemical called 32nd but it it did a good job it didn't completely clean them so I may have to go back at this with a pressure washer um, but I got most of the, the algae off that was getting a little slippery. So just trying to keep up with things over the summer. And I'm really happy with this, this garden here. Worked on it probably maybe an hour, hour and a half yesterday. And I just kind of rearranged a few things. And I think it came out really pretty. When I came out this morning, I kind of got little butterflies when I saw it so I'm really happy with it and I just wanted to share this with you and I hope you um, enjoy your day and thanks for being here for my little front yard garden walkabout I hope everybody has a really great day thanks guys bye